Me, me to me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 20 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add the workbench and how to add the rocket shield. It's a good day, people. Let's get it on. All right, so first things first, I'm going to have some links down in the description. You're going to download all of those prefabs. You know, uh, once you have them downloaded, you should be presented with the uh, craftables build table, then the craftables rocket shield ego part, craftables rocket shield gas part, craftables rocket shield refill, craftables rocket shield spawner, craftables rocket shield window part. All right, so automatically there's one, two, three, four, five, six prefabs. Now, once you already have them all downloaded, you know, put them into a folder called the buildables. That way you guys can um, get to it pretty quick and they're not going to be all scattered around. So once you have them downloaded, make a folder, call it buildables or whatever you want. You know, copy the folder, go to the root folder of your Black Ops 3. It's going to be under local disk C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Black Ops 3. Once you're in the roof folder, you're going to go into map source. You're going to go into prefabs, ZM, and you're going to paste it in here. All right, so now that you already have that done, open up your desired map on which you want to add this, these magical prefabs. All right, so I'm going to open up one of my maps. As you can see, I already added the table. I've added the three parts. This is the, the refill. Now let, let me do everything from scratch so I can show you guys completely. Let me just delete all of this. All right. There's the trigger. All right. So now that I'm in my map, and I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost. Okay, here we go. Uh, yes, let's go up this way. Okay. All right, now that I'm in my main area, and this is the spot where I want to put the table. All right, what you want to do, I'm right over here. Now, what you want to do is open up your entity browser. Click B on the keyboard. It'll bring up this browser. Now, you want to go over to MISC, right over here, and go to Prefab. And you're going to drag over the Prefab. All right? So, once your Prefab's um, window opens up, go to ZM, and go to Buildables. It should be right there. All right, now, first things first, let's add Craftable Build Table. Double click on that. Now, it might show up in a different area. So just move the mouse over and you'll see it. And I'm going to put it right over here. Now, the front of the table is where the arrows are. So you want to rotate it. Make sure that your player can get to this part. And let me bring it up. There it is. All right. And is the table in the floor? Yes, it is. All right. All right. So now the table's perfect. Now with this table, you can basically change it to any table you want or make your own. The only thing you're going to have to do is just, uh, of course, select it and you're going to have to stamp it and then go over to stamp prefab. So prefab, stamp prefab, if you want to make your own and delete the table, not the structs or that node. You know, you're going to have to leave that where it is, you know, but you can make your own table, design it the way you want, and then just make sure that these two parts are exactly the same. Like I didn't stamp mine. So it's, there's one struck in here and then, well, it's, it's a node and then there's a script struck inside of here. So you're going to make sure that you have both of those if you make your own table, but if you're not going to make your own table, just, you know, just put it in your map set it up where you want it 
All right, now let's open up the other prefabs. So I'm going to go over to MISC again, prefab. I'm going to drop in another one. I'm going to go to ZM. I'm going to go over to Buildables. And last time we dropped in the build table. So now we're going to add the refills. Now these, you can put them all over your map because once you're done using up the juice inside of your rocket shield, you'll be able to find these around your map and you'll be able to refill your, your shield. So if uh, you ran out of juice, that's a refill. All right, so I'm gonna double click on that. As you can see, it spawned over here. And I'm gonna just put it right there. I'm gonna just leave it where it's at. Don't put it in the floor, put it like right above the floor. And I'm gonna copy it and put one over here. Hit escape, all right. Now those, you can put them all over your map, remember. And you can put as many as you want. So now I'm going to go back over to prefab and I'm going to drop in another one. There we go. And I'm going to go to ZM and build the bulls again. And this time we're going to start adding the parts. So I'm going to start off with the window part. There we go. Move around so you can see where it is. And here it is right over here. Now this, you don't want to put it in the floor because then the part is going to be like hanging through the floor. So you just want to put it right above the floor. There you go, that's good. Let me just move it over. All right, which one was this? This one was the the window? Yes, it is, the window. All right, so hit escape. There you go, that part is good. Let me add another prefab. Go to ZM, go to buildables. And this time we're gonna put in the gas part. Double click on that. There it is. All right. Let me drop it down, but don't put it inside the floor. Like, try to put it right above the floor so it won't disappear. There you go. All right. So that's the gas part. Now let's put in another. And let's see. ZM. Buildables. Now we're going to put in the eagle part. There we go around there it is let me drop it down right there is good let me move it to the side all right hit escape and let's drop in another prefab zm buildables and we already put this one in one two three four and all we need is the rocket shield spawner. Now this one, we're going to have to put this under the map. It's going to be a trigger. So double click on that. Bring it over. There it is. That's the trigger. Now we're going to stamp this. Have it selected. Go to prefab. Go to stamp prefab. Now we can modify it. So I'm going to stretch it out to the length of my map. There we go. And then we're going to leave this under the map, which is stretch it out. All right, that's cool. So remember, the trigger has to be under the map because it's going to help the pieces spawn. And hit escape. And that's pretty much it. All right, so now click file, click save, exit out. And then just open up Launcher. You know, make sure you have everything checked. Select your map and hit Build. And then let your map be compiled. And I already compiled mine. That way you guys could uh, see what it looks like. And let's go into the game. Let's check it out. Now the parts might be in different places because I did it earlier just to make sure that it works. And I didn't want you guys to s have to sit through the compile, so let's see how it came out. And let's give it a second. I'm so happy, man. Craftables with no scripting. Thank you. Thank you, Treyarch. You're the bomb. My nipples are up. All right, let me stop. But um, here we go. All right, cool. Just in case you guys didn't know, I have a video on uh, changing your uh, starting weapon. And here we go, here are the parts. As you can see, 
I should have put the eagle shield a little bit higher and the window shields. See, I already put them up pretty high, so you got to go a little bit higher for that. All right, so you can grab the parts. Now, let, let me go over to the workbench, add additional parts. All right, so let me pick up this one. There we go. Whoa. Now, the only thing is, is that it doesn't really show you the parts when you have them. But that's cool, as long as you know what you got. All right, that's one part. Now this is the second. And zombie. And the third. And these are little um, refuels. Remember, I have another one over here somewhere. Do I? I could have swore I did. I guess I didn't copy it. All right, we're going over to the workbench and here we go. Hold X to craft zombie shield. Let's do this. There we go. All right, cool. Zombie shield. This table is kind of high, so I'm going to be replacing that. But uh, let me kill a few of these zombies. Let me grab that shield. There we go. I got it. Hit down on the D-pad. And there you have it. Bow. Ah, oh, bitch. This is my house. Literally, I made it. All right, now let me waste all the boosts. You get three of them. So now I can't boost anymore, as you can see. And if I pick it up, there you go. And now I can do the boost again. And that's how you put in the, rock, uh, the rocket shield, people. It's a good day. Put this back. And we get some kills in. So happy. And just in case if anybody's seen my um my workshop videos on playing custom maps from the workshop, you know, if you have a map that you want me to play, uh just hit me up with a message, send me the map, and I'll try to I'll try to do a video on it. So there you have it guys. Zombie shield and buildables. So you know the deal. If you like the video, hit that like button so other people can uh Get aware of my videos and subscribe, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.